listen, God hears your prayers. Even the prayers from your children. Tune in. Hey, everybody, what's going on? My name is Jessica and Harris here, and I'm pumped and excited for you to join me on this channel. So this channel is all about keeping you encouraged on your faith walk journey of love, life, and truly everything in these lanes. Also, if you are not already tapped in, get connected below in the description box. Get on our email list. If you're a faith woman in Christ, join the Facebook community of Ignite You Are Glow and tap in. Also, if you are in need of a journal in this hour, because you know it's time to document everything, I want to encourage you to actually pick out our Believe Again journal. That journal is currently on sale. It is filled with God's promises. It's filled with pop-up prayers and truly so much more. So yes, get your copy today. There's also going to be bundles of it going on sale this weekend as well. So stay tuned. All right. So let's get into this video. God hears your prayers, including the ones from your children. Listen, last week, y'all already know, my little people came to visit me. I got to hang out with them. And it also was my son's birthday as well. So the night before his birthday, probably even like before, well, it definitely was the night before his birthday he was talking to me, but we talked about this a few times prior. But he was telling me in general a few of the things that he wanted to do for his birthday. And that included going to a few stores and possibly going to a trampoline park. Now, I looked at him and was like, uh, okay, we going to see. Right? Because it's not just him. It's him, his brother, his sister. So he also mentioned, and I did not say nothing. He brought it to me. And he was like, mom, I know it's my birthday, but I really want to give my brother and my sister a gift too. Can you buy them presents as well? I don't want to, like, don't just buy me a present. I want you to buy everybody a present. Like, he literally used the word, buy everybody a present. And I just looked at him and was like, okay, yeah, sure. And he meant it. He really wanted his siblings to get a present on his birthday along with him. And I thought that was so special and just so selfless. Um, for real, for real. Like, that was just, like, mind-boggling. And he's little, but for him to like, I'm just, yeah, I'm truly amazed and very grateful to just bear witness unto the move of God in his life, literally. But anyways, we get up the next morning. It's his birthday. It's like, hey, 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 happy birthday. Oh my goodness. You ready? Let's go. Let's get dressed. So we all get in the car. Um, my mom comes with us because my mom's birthday, as y'all know, was coming up in a few days after his. I was like, well, let's all go. My mom's off from work. Um, normally, she's working when my kids are there. So she doesn't really have an opportunity to, like, see them that often. Like, she'll see them a little bit, but she don't get to have, like, time to, like, be with them. So this was really, like, a really cool opportunity where it was, like, her birthday coming up, their birthday, his birthday, everybody kind of just enjoying. So we all go in the car. We're all hanging out together, X, Y, and Z. And we get to one of the stores, and everybody gets a gift at first. You know, my daughter gets a gift, my youngest gets a gift, the birthday boy gets a gift, and we're like, all right, cool. So as we're driving in the area, I look at my mom, and I'm like, you got to go anywhere right now? And she's like, no, I'm not busy. And I was like, all right, bet. So I Google on my phone, and I'm like, okay, is there a trampoline park even over here? Now, I have looked at, I have looked at locations in the past to see if they had, like, any trampoline park by my parents' house. And normally there's not. Normally you have to go like <laughs> like 45 minutes for some nonsense away. And I'm like, who got time? I'd be looking like, who got time for that? Not me. So anyways, and y'all bear with me because my voice is still like catching a healing. But yes, um, this time it was different. This time when we left that first store, when I checked the GPS, the GPS was like, there's a location that's 10 minutes away. And I was like, oh, bet. So I went ahead and put in the location. And it's so crazy. I found out after the fact that not only was it 10 minutes away from where we was from the first store, but it was also 10 minutes away from the next store that we was going to go to anyway. I'm like, come through God. Like, that is so dope. So anyways, we go ahead and we get to the trampoline park. Now, mind you, I'm in the parking lot. I'm looking at the prices, and I'm looking like, 
Okay, there's one, two. <laughs> Here, y'all. I'm like, God, this, this is a little expensive. And it's not that I didn't want to do the tripling part, but there was some bigger things that were getting ready to come up that I really needed to, like, be saving for. So that's why I wasn't trying to, like, just splurge on this. And it's nothing to do with my son's birthday, y'all. I would go in and go hard for my kids. But there's, like, a bigger surprise that I have in play for them that I they don't know about. So I didn't want to, like, lose out. I didn't want to mismanage my funds because I'm working on a bigger surprise. And I, they, I can't tell them what the surprise is because it's a surprise. So I really had to tell them, like, y'all, like, this a little bit tight right here, but, you know, we're going to see. Because, like I said, I'm working on something bigger, and I'm that part, the bigger one is more important um, versus the trampoline part. Just saying. Anyways, so to God be the glory, though, because God is so good, and God still heard the prayers. So I told my kids, though, before we got out the car, and I said, listen, we got the trampoline part, but to be fair, we're probably not going to be able to jump today. Um, what we can do is probably look at the, um, what's it called? Not look, but probably like play the games and the arcade in itself instead. And I was like, y'all cool with that? Like we should just play some games and then we'll head to the other store. We still got to buy y'all toys at the other store anyway. And they were like, okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I was like, all right, perfect bet. Right. Cause mind you, I already bought them toys. Now we're at this arcade. Then we're about to go back to another store and buy more toys. So, <laughs> y'all, my budget looks like a little like this. This budget is going elsewhere right now, and it wasn't me trying to like stress about the funds or nothing like that. But it was just the concept like I know my kids and I know them. When they get ready to like go and buy stuff, let's just say they like other kids. They like to buy up the whole store. Like I wish I took a video. I'll get to that part. No, no, I'm gonna get to that part in a moment because that was funny um i don't have a video of it though but i'm gonna tell y'all about that in just a moment let me tell you this part here first so we get to the trampoline park and they have like the kiosk to do you know the waiver x y and z and they have the trampoline piece upstairs but the arcade is on the first level so we continue going forward where the arcade is at and they're having fun x y and z and yo my kids are like can we do it i'm like absolutely because of the arcade part it makes sense um, everybody's able to play, even my youngest one, who's only, you know, like, he's a toddler, so being able to do stuff that the toddler can do, too, is, like, really beneficial for me, for real, for real, because I need everybody to get involved and to play, and not have, I don't like to do stuff where, like, one feels like they can't participate, like, I try to do activities the way everyone can participate, so this way no one feels left out, like, I just, that's just me, I like to do it that way, so if we're going somewhere, it needs to be friendly for everybody and not just like one or two. Um, if it is friendly for like one or two, it has to be like, in my mind, like worth it essentially. And then it has to be something that the youngest one can do at some point later, like that day um, to kind of make up for it. So that's just like my perspective on it. Anyways, so I remember we get to the register and I'm asking the cashier there, like, hey, you know, I'm asking like, you know, the employee, like, hey, uh, I need a card. How do I go about this? What like how much do the points cost to get the um to get a card? So he was telling me the points. He was like, okay, five dollars is this, ten dollars is this, twenty dollars is this. So he was like, twenty dollars will give you um, what do you say? Twenty dollars gives you forty points. That's what he was telling me. So I was like, all right, bet. So I remember going through my purse and I was trying to rummage because I was like, I felt like I had a twenty dollar bill. I was like, I think I have a twenty. I'm pretty sure I have a twenty dollar bill somewhere. At least I thought I did. I'm going through my money, I'm going through my money, and I must have been taking like a little bit longer because the birthday boy walks up to me and he's like, Mom, why don't you just use your credit card? And I just looked at him and was like, All up in my wallet. So I take the card out and I hand it to the cashier, and the cashier looks at me for a second. Now, mind you, I didn't tell them that it's my son's birthday. We haven't even mentioned it, no one has said it. Like, it has nothing has been said regarding birthdays, nothing. Um, but I take my card out and I'm handing it over to him. And he looks at me and he's like, he literally looks at me and was like, you're all set. And I'm like, huh? And he's like, no, you're all set. And he goes, boop, 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 boop. And he hands me two cards and he's like, have a great day. And I'm like, wait, huh? Like, he's like, no, you're all set. And I was like, 
thank you. Like, thank you very much. Like, wow. So mind you, I was going to do $20 for 40 points. 40. That's all I was doing was 40. I think it was 40. If it wasn't 40, it might have been. No, it was 40. I think. I don't know. Something like that. So it was for 40 points. Something to that effect. <laughs> Anyways, I remember I scanned one of the cards and it had 100 points. And I was like, wait, what? And he gave me two cards. So I scanned the second card and it had another 100 points. And I'm like, wait, huh? I'm like, I look and I'm like, oh my goodness. Thank you, God. This man then gave us 200 points for free. I didn't have to pay nothing at the arcade at all. Them babies got to play so many games, so many rounds of air hockey and basketball and the shooting the clown thingy with the ball and the claw machine. Like, y'all, I was just in utter amazement. Like, God, thank you so much because my son really wanted to just enjoy his day and I like mind blown I remember at the end of the arcade visit I was telling my kids when we was in the car and I was like y'all I need y'all right now to thank God and to bless the Lord because not only did we get to go and find a trampoline park it happened to have an arcade and we didn't even have to pay for the cards and not only did we not pay for the cards but they gained points as they played games and they were able to actually cash those points and get prizes. I'm like, y'all got double. Like y'all was able to get double. Did you peep that? And I was like, y'all, that's favor. Kids, you know, I was like, y'all, that's favor. I'm drawing, I bad. But I was like, yo, that's favor. Like that's favor from God. You need to thank God right now for that because that was nothing but God who could have allowed that to take place nothing but the lord so we was in the car and they all were saying thank you to god and i was telling them and they know like i tell them all the time like listen y'all need to repent if there's anything y'all done wrong y'all need to be sorry to god about it and all these things they were repenting they were um just giving their attitude of gratitude and it was just amazing and i was just sitting there with my mom like i can't believe that like what and then we went to the next store 